anyone has ever been in traffic, and everyone's been in traffic, and you're behind a bus, and the bus takes off, belching this black smoke, and you say, how can this continue? The first affordable, full-size electric bus took its maiden voyage on the streets of Las Vegas on November 27th. Developed by Electric Fuel Corporation with funding from the Federal Transit Administration, the bus runs on unique zinc-air fuel cells rather than diesel fuel, eliminating pollution as well as health problems associated with diesel fuel emission. With a capacity of 40 seated and 37 standing passengers, Electric Fuel's 40-foot bus utilizes a patented zinc air fuel cell system that stores and produces sufficient energy to operate for a full day, even with air conditioning and a full passenger load. Does it operate in an intense, heavy-duty transit operating environment? Does it have the speed, the power, the capability to deliver? And if it does, then we're going to be all over it because of the clean air benefits. Installed in a standard transit bus manufactured by Nova Bus, the system creates clean electricity by using oxygen from the air to react with electric fuel's proprietary refuelable zinc fuel. It produces no emissions, can be refueled quickly, is nearly ready for commercial use, and is expected to be cost competitive with diesel fuel when it goes into regular service. In contrast, buses powered by conventional batteries are limited in size and driving range by the weight of the batteries, while buses under development using hydrogen fuel cells are considered to be expensive and are not expected to be commercially available for many years. Tested on a taxiway of the former Griffiths Air Force Base in Rome, New York, more than 125 miles were driven for eight hours under rigorous stop-and-go conditions meeting all industry standards for an urban transit bus in all-day service. The electric fuel bus has strong support in Washington, D.C. Senators Harry Reid and John Ensign of Nevada have endorsed the deployment of a fleet of electric fuel buses in Las Vegas in a press conference held in the Senate gallery. I believe that technology is going to be the answer to a lot of our environmental problems, and this is a great example of where the government can invest in what we call basic research, and then we leave it up to the private sector to apply that research. You know the amazing things about these buses? Right, they are. We're very fortunate that this experiment, this worthy experiment, is going to be continued in Las Vegas. Uh, we will no longer have, after this uh, comes to be, these buses belching out this black smoke. The Regional Transportation Commission of Southern Nevada in Las Vegas is heading up the peer review process to test and review the technology for potential use in public transit systems. The program originated in 1998 and with continued funding is expected to place a small fleet of electric transit buses on the streets of Las Vegas by 2004. We're going to put it into the real world of uh, everyday bus usage and see if it proves out, and we hope that it will, because uh, not only do we want to get more and more citizens out of their vehicles, but we want to even have our big buses show the community that they are low, or in this case, zero pollution. Electric fuel making affordable zero emission public transportation a reality in this decade.